Hello, Leo and Cross Watchers alike. It's your mid February to March reading of this current year. I'm also sick and away with the readings. I'm sorry. You just got to deal. Anyway, Leo and Cross Watcher, this is for the sign of Leo and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts if it resonates with you. Cool. If not, you boop your nose the way it goes. No point worrying about shit that ain't about you. Ain't none of your business unless you're nosy. And that's why we're all here. Okay, so Leo, I can't tell if you want to start a fight or if you're hoping someone else will start a fight if you're mean enough to them. You know? That's immediately what I get. <laughs> He's just like, how can I get this person to just leave me the fuck alone? Or something like that. Uh, definitely could be a counterpart here, because we got the king over here, and the king's just being a sour puss. Um, but in a very prideful way, because we also have your card with the strength card here. And then we have the queen of wands over here, and I can't tell if this is her positioning, or how she sees you in this, but it's like... It's like, he's being mean to me, or some shit. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, we got your card right here. Look, look at you. All dramatic and shit on your throne. Like, you literally are wearing high heels. Look at all, like, short and petite, but cute and, like, powerful. Just being like, this is mine. And my wand is the fattest of all the land, right? But it's like, you're kind of like being a dictator about it. Also, uh, like, it's like you're, um... You're being really dickish, or maybe the person you're dealing with is being really dickish, Leo or Crosswatcher, but they're killing you with the kindness. You know, they're just like, shh, shh, there's no need for you to roar. Use your inside voice, you know? But it's like, you weren't even saying anything, it's just like, what are you talking about? Shh, train's coming. And now you're all confused, like, what? Okay, um... Down in the situation, we have the chariot, and this chariot just freaks me out. Like, it's got Sagittarius on it, even though normally it's Cancer. But it's like, I can't tell what this person's trying to do. Is it like, are they trying to just be as chaotic as possible in order to cause the lover separation right here? Or because they lack the ability to make a decision for themselves? You know? Over here in the Wants and Wishes, we have the truth with this Ace of Swords or something. There are birds flying, there's a singular hand, there's a crown on top, there are some flowers as if it was embedded and bloomed. Um, that someone's just a sourpuss with their feelings. Like, very childish and immature with their feelings at that, which is like, you know, like, Leo, you're usually, um... You guys usually have emotional intelligence, but it's like this person, it, it seems like they don't have any or they don't want to engage into it, right? However, the obstacle and challenge, and it's kind of made me laugh just a little bit. Like, you want to, like, you or the person you're dealing with, Leo, are in cross roster, you want to ride up, Knight of Cups, right? Present that cup, be like, I got this for you. And then be a rude ass all about it with the King of Swords, just saying, like, nasty stuff, but not really their truth. Like, it's like, I love you, but I'm going to insult everything about you just so you understand. Um, that I'm kind of like the logical one here, but it's like, what the fuck? It's not logical to be like that at all. Like, that's absolutely the... Like, it just because you got reasons does not make you reasonable. Like, that I will say for sure, right? So then we have the Hermit with the Eight of Swords. Both of them reverse, right? And it's like, you know, before in a... I, 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 I want to... It was, no, it was Cancer. It was Cancer I was reading for, where I said that it looks like an umbrella hat instead of, like, someone engaging with the universe. Someone's got their umbrella hat on, like, blocking the universe out just so they can't come up, come out of this, like, mental cage they got themselves in, you know? Down as the shit starts out, and it's the Seven of Pentacles, reversed and upright. It's like nothing's coming to fruition. But this dude's just still sitting here wondering, like, oh, I wonder what's going to pop up next, or is anything going to pop up next? Like, are you ever going to harvest your rewards, or are you just going to sit there and keep watching them in the garden before they start rotting, you know? So, that's what we got so far, Leo and Crosswatcher, so let's see. Why did you stop, music? You son of a bitch. That's very confusing. Uh, 
Uh, that figures. Alright. Alright, okay, Leo. Yeah. Let's see. Alright, so Leo, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Maybe even another Leo, just like yourself. Or just a fire sign in general, right? One that's probably acting a lot more poised than you. Um, possibly not using her intuition, for sure, with the High Priestess Reverse. Could also be Pisces in this, too, because we do got a couple fish folk here. Beautiful, beautiful fish folk. We also got Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, for sure, Cancer. Yeah, whoever this is, they're just not using their intuition to understand that, like, things take time. Or maybe things are supposed to go this way. I'll drop one more on this one, right? Right. And that's probably what's got them all pissed off. They're just... <laughs> With the King of Swords. He just popping up again like I'm sick of waiting. You know? Like, yeah, okay. Leo or Crosswatch or, like, whatever this is, like, someone's really impatient. And I don't know why. And I'm not sure what they're impatient for, but it's funny. Alright, now in the situation below, the chariot with the lovers. Both reverse. Like, I can't tell what this chariot really is doing, but it really feels hostile. Especially regarding either a decision not being come to be made. Ooh. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Or, you know, just separating from somebody in general. Heartbreak? Like, okay, I get that much. Okay, so it probably is a relationship, but it's like chaotic, though. It's like... Hmm. Breaking up a union. It's like, um... I think that, like, this... Like, Leo Crossword, I think you or your person wants to break up. But they know that it's going to be heartbreaking and it's going to break up, like, I guess a family or some shit because it's definitely family. Look at the little ones right there just romping with the parents, you know? All they, they even have identical horns and it's adorable. But I feel like they recognize this and that's probably why they're acting a little bit sporadic. But it's like they're kind of being dickish too. So it's just kind of like, why are you being a dick for? What do you want? Like, I don't know. They're, just, they're very abrasive though. Then we have the Ace of Swords with the Page of Cups, their abrasiveness and immaturity when it comes to their emotions. It's because they feel left out in the cold and they want to come back in, or they feel like they're alone. And they're trying to still hold up their strength. Or maybe that's how they feel about you, Leo. Like, look, you got all that sunshine, you're hugging the fucking kitty, this person doesn't even have a kitty. Like, they, they're kind of alone in the entire situation, and it's just kind of like, oh... Oh, okay, that makes sense. Like, I think that they... I don't, I don't think they want to break up. I think they're just tired of feeling lonely. You know. I'd rather be alone than lonely kind of feel. However, down below in the obstacles and challenges, this Knight of Cups, they do love you or you love them, Leo and Crosswatchers. But that attitude, though... You know, back in the day, y'all got along just fine. Y'all enjoyed each other, you know? But now it's like, it, it's too much. It's very much too much for them. Like, it's no longer a wish fulfillment, or the wish has just outgrown itself, right? We got the Hermit Reverse with the Eight of Swords Reverse and the Fears and Rejections. Someone doesn't want to, like, take the cap off in order to, um, or even put the cap on in order to come out of this bad mentality. Um, which is sad, because, like, there's going to be a message, a change-up, a switch-up, right? That's going to make you, possibly, Leo, get back upright, back in your power. So, like, if you would just think about it, kind of, or use your intuition of sorts, you'd figure out what's up, and then, like, you could be like, oh, this is what's going on. It's like you have to kind of, like, like, if this is you. Anyway, um, but it's like, you gotta, gotta use your intuition to figure out, like, what's going on so you feel a little bit better about the situation. Because it will help give you guidance, you know. 
like nothing's come to fruition and you're still sitting here waiting and wondering with the lovers how you start this shit, how you end it, right? You might just cut that shit out with the Queen of Swords, but you're going to have to decide to do it as gently as possible with your butt flies. I'll drop one more. Because I am curious. And you might just try to go to sleep as you lull yourself off to a better place. I don't see that as negative, though. Especially with the King of Swords right here. Maybe the Queen of Swords is getting ready to cut it out. Because he's up here twice, and he's in a bad attitude. While well, she's up here cutting things out and just getting ready to leave. It feels like people want to break up, Leo, you know, once again with you. And you want to break up with them, you guys just haven't gotten there. Queen of Wands right here. That's the beginning theme. Counterpart, if you will. Could be Sagittarius. Oh, and there's the Knight of Cups. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right? Ooh, someone might be trying to serenade your lady, and you might not even know it. That'd be crazy. <laughs> or she keeps trying to come to you for love, thinking that you're her cup, you're her dream, and you just have a bad attitude all the time, you know, shit like that, right? So let's see. Yeah, this shit's not working too well, man. Not with the energy you got right here. It's like... They want something, Leo and Crosswatcher, but it's like they're not putting in the right energy to do it, and that's why it's not working. And it feels like they gotta let somebody drown. Oh, Leo, are you doing this, Leo? Are you, are you leaving someone to fend for themselves and their emotions they're drowning in? Oh my goodness. You know, my husband's a Leo, so I kind of understand, not entirely, but I feel like it's like what it is you're doing is kind of like, if, if you're doing this, if this isn't the person you're dealing with, um, I feel like it's got a little bit drastic. I mean, if someone's drowning in their own fucking tears, can you really turn your back forever? Probably. But should you? I don't know. That's your own morality. You should deal with right so the situation with this heartbreak and breaking things up no nope, it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen Jesus you know they'll pour their emotions out before they leave I feel like which is almost like the opposite of what somebody wants done hearing the wants and wishes someone's feeling left out in the cold while you're just shining in the sun Leo um, they're about to get on a boat and leave, but the door is still open. It's like time. You know? And you're gonna feel like someone took something from you. You're gonna feel like you're gotten stolen. You got ganked. Possibly in this situation. Or they're gonna feel that way about you, Lear and Crosswatcher. Whichever or. Alright. Obstacles and challenges. This person from the past that you connected with, it's no longer working anymore, I feel like. It's no longer a dream. Uh, Queen of Swords right here might be fucking crazy. That's probably why she's cutting shit off. But she's crazy enough to keep making the excuses to continue on with the thing. So yeah, it's okay. Leo, I feel like Leo Crosswater. I feel like you are hoping this person is just going to end it because I feel like you don't want to. But they're not doing that because they're nuts at the moment. Or it could be the opposite. I don't know. But that's what it feels like. It feels like someone's waiting for the other person to break up with them. But the other person is just the same. It's like, I don't want to be the one to break up. They could break up with me first. Oh my goodness. Leo, what the fuck, dude? Alright. Fears and rejections. Getting the intuition, intuitive messages so you can be upright again, man. Like, there's the king of swords again. Just not speak it. Not speaking anything that's trustworthy or truthworthy, you know. It's because you can't let it go. Once again, guys. If you want to break up with someone, just break up with them. Like, Jesus. It's not the end of the world. Sure, it's harder with people, 
for sure. But at the same time, um, fuck, you know? Like, how long do you hold on? How this shit starts out will end. This place sort of might finally cut off these lovers, give them a kiss goodbye, and float away. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Queen of Pentacles, who was an empress. Or she's giving to an empress, one of the two. But there's still this whole, like, look it over at him, like, uh. Yeah, Leo, this is like, this is like almost the same thing I read for you guys before. It's like, there's somebody who you're dealing with who I feel like y'all want, I feel like y'all are done. But it's like, neither one of you are ready to quit yet. Because I feel like it's either a pride thing, or it's just the fact that like you don't want to feel like the bad guy. One of the two. But, that's the reading I got for y'all. So, da-da-da. Hope this helps you all out. Love your face. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course, because, you know, I can't make you do anything you don't want to do. That'd be rude and shitty. But, that's beside the point. The point is, hope you all enjoyed this. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see you later. Love your face. Bye-bye.